for this video, we're going to be adding mixed numbers. When we add mixed numbers, I like to add my whole numbers and then come back and add the fraction part of the numbers. So I'm going to take 28 plus 39 and I'm going to get 65. Excuse me, 67. Uh, for some reason I can't add today. And then I'm going to take my fraction part of each number, 9 over 20 plus the 19 over 30, and add those together. Now we have to get a least common or a common denominator. It doesn't necessarily have to be the least common denominator, but we have to get a common denominator. And I can look at these and say, okay, oh, 60 will go into these. Because I know 2 times 3 gives me 60. So I have to multiply my 9 times 3. And 30 times 2 gives me 60. So whatever I multiply on bottom, I have to multiply on top. So when I multiply these, 9 times 3 is 27. 3 times 20 is 60. Excuse me, 19 times 2 is 38. 30 times 2 is 60. Now I've got the same denominator. So just like with adding fractions before, I'm going to add the numerators. 27 over 38 is 65. 27 plus 38 is 65 over 60. And then I'm going to change this to a mixed number. I know 60 will go into 65 one time. And I have 5 left over. And I also know 5, uh, five and 60 will reduce and reduce both of these by 5 because 5 goes into 5 and 5 goes into 60. Still have my 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 60 divided by 5 is 12. Now I want to take my whole number and I want to add it to my fraction. Let's take the whole number part and I'm going to add my fraction part. So now when I do this, 67 plus 1 gives me 68 and then my 1 twelfth. This is my final answer. For this next problem, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take and I'm going to add my whole numbers, the 34 and the 35. So 34 plus 35 gives me 69. And then I'm going to add my fraction parts together. So I'm going to add 3 sevenths and 5 knots. And again, we've got to find our common denominator, least common denominator, common denominator. And in this case, I can look at this and say, okay, nothing goes into earth. It's easier because just to multiply 7 and 9 together. So that means that I'm going to multiply 7 times 9, so I'm going to multiply 3 times 9. I'm going to multiply 9 times 7 and 5 times 7. Sometimes it's just easier to multiply the two denominators together. So then 9 times 3 gives me 27. 7 times 9 is 63. 5 times 7 is 35. 9 times 7 is 63. When I add these two together, I get 62 over 63. I don't know why I wrote a 7 there. It's 9 times 7 is 63. So 62 over 63 does not reduce. But I want to now add, and it's always add your whole number and your fraction part. And since I don't have a whole number on this one, then the answer is just going to be the whole number, 69, and then 62 over 63. 
And then for the last one, we're going to do the same thing. Just more practice. Get a thinner pencil there. I'm going to add my whole numbers together. 32 and 16. And when I add 32 and 16, I'm going to get 48. And then I'm going to add my fraction parts together. So I'm going to add 3 eighths and 7 tenths. Now again, you know, if I don't want to hunt up for a least common denominator, I can just multiply my two denominators together and then reduce at the end. And I think that's what I'm going to do this time. So I'm going to just multiply 8 times 10, which means that I've got to multiply 8 times 10, so I'm going to multiply my 3 times 10, so I get 30 over 80. Multiply my 10 times 8, so I'm going to multiply my 7 times 8. 7 times 8 is 56. 10 times 8 is 80. I'm dying myself. And then I'm going to add the numerators. 30 plus 56 is 86 over 80. And then I'm going to write it as a mixed number again. So I know 80 goes into 86 one time, the 6 left over. And then I know I can reduce. I know that my, change colors on myself, I know that 2 will go into 6 and 2 will go into 80. So I end up with 1 and 3 over 40. So now for the last part, I want to add my whole number of 48 plus the fraction part of my number of 1 and 3 fortieths. So when I add 48 and 1, I get 49, and since I don't have a fraction there, and then it's just 3 fortieths. So I hope this helps with understanding mixed numbers.